Hello everyone. Uh, this is a commission, a free commission drawing for my Roblox phone, Red Caboose One One Seven, and his Sonic fan character, Nano the Hedgehog. I don't really know that much about this character, other than he's a genetic clone of Sonic, Shadow, and Silver. And remember, dude, this is my interpretation of I think you would look if uh, Crossover had a bit more diver diverse customizing choices. But I digress. I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, if you have any complaints, let me know in the comments down below or um, on Roblox. Um, Nano the Hedgehog has every form that Silver, Shadow, or Sonic has had, or ever have, I, I don't know that much about him, but he's pretty cool, I like this character, I, I liked, liked him in the game, I, I forgot the sword, I, I always forget the sword, but. I digress, it looks great. I added a purple chaos emerald. And he's using that, well, not using, he's levitating with uh, telekinesis or. I like I don't know. Um, I don't know why I didn't ask if uh, there was like a particle effect or anything, like silvers, like uh, this drawing right here. Silver. Uh, it's, um, well, I'm tired, it's like 12 in the morning. I think it looks great now on, he asked me to do this one, Super Nano versus Dark Nano. And if you can't tell, uh, Super Nano was kind of making like a shield, like a Chaos Blast, but it's more like a shield rather than like the blast, like the dark chaos blast? Is that what you call it? Yeah, no, I don't know. And um, this is the first time I've ever done a character in that pose. I hope I did a good job. I did a pretty good job on the hand, that hand. Not so much that hand. I kind of screwed up. And uh, I just realized I'm holding the camera weird, so I'm gonna do it like this now. Sorry for that. Uh, there's Nano again. I gave him kind of like a silver, like the silver back quills, but a lot shorter. And uh, kind of like Shadow's quills, but they're kind of more pushed down. And uh, not really a lot of Sonic in this, so maybe like the, I think like his attitude and well the blue things on wrist and little part they put on the shoes. I guess works. Uh, he's supposed to have yellow eyes, but the marker I was using kind of sucked, so uh, it got mixed with the black. So you got like this weird golden dark olive color. It looks good. If you look closely, I did like a DNA pattern. And uh, if you look, you can see the yellow strands are for silver, red for shadow, and blue for, of course, Sonic. And if you look at the letters, N A, -A wait, this is an A. I'm stupid. N A N O. This one's blue like Sonic. This one's red like Shadow Stripes. This is yellow because. Silver. <laughs> and the O is all three. Blue represents yellow, red, and blue. Uh, if you look closely, you can see that there's a pattern, like, like the chemical compact. I don't remember. I've, I don't remember. I haven't. 
doing a lot of DNA homework stuff. I digress. Um, if you look closely, there's yeah, there are seven yellow ones since uh, clearly Nano has a lot of silver traits rather than Sonic and Shadow. Shadow, you have five, and Sonic, you have four on there. All right. If you wonder why this one's kind of crumbled up, uh, I was at my grandmother's place and I put it in my bag. I forgot to put it in a book and it got all crumbled up. And this is the next one. This is not a request. This is just something fun I did because it felt like there was not enough paperwork. All right. There's Nano and Corrupt Nano. If no one knows what the corrupt thing is, it's a... Uh, like a fungus, like a purple fungus that grow on Amphro, Hedgehog, or any animal's head in the crossover game. And, uh, well, Nano was taken over at some point. I don't really want to talk about it. Um, you look, I did the same thing I always do for silver. When I'm drawing silver, I always put in a lot of dark. I always put it in a pencil for it won't just be straight white because he's actually a very light ash color. Like an ash gray color. I always put it in dark layer then I erase it. You know I did the same. I could have gotten a lot lighter but um I don't know. For uh, the corrupted side of Nano I put a I use a purple coloring pencil to kind of put it some like a purple hue to it. And, uh, oh yeah. Do you remember what I always call Corrupt Nano? I have encountered a shiny Nano. <laughs> nano, use Psych Beam. <laughs> uh, if anyone else is watching this and you were around, let's see. It. You just have to be around. It's just like the Marcus thing. Yeah. I use a uh, new tactics. It's, um,. My markers got all wiped out, and I don't really like using the thick black one because it's kind of hard to do small details, so you can tell. So I actually drawn the original one. This is a copy. I used a, my printer for the outlines could stay and be a bit darker. This is the original one made out of pencil. I started off with pencil, and then I put it in my printer, and... I copied it for this one and I colored this one in. I think I did a pretty good job. I don't know. I've never really drawn a character looking straight at the camera. I always have them looking to the side. I think I did a pretty good job. There's some proportions like the hands, but it, it, they're hands. They're hard to draw. Well, the... Red Kimbu, who's 117, I hope you like all of your pictures. I was going to have a blue cameo in a, one of the pictures, but I, I, for, I, haven't, I didn't finish the drawing. It's still in pencil. I thought about maybe like just making it black and white. But, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, not a bell, all that bull crap. And, um, you know, I kind of like this. Maybe I should start doing, like, fan character commission, free commissions, of course, on Fridays. I don't know, vote in the comments or something. Rack and booze. If you have any complaints or anything that you want me to change, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a recap on this. Well, bye. <laughs> I'm out of here.